Hi. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, same here. How are you? I'm really good, thank you. How are you? Yes, I'm quite well. Now yes. it's our holidays here in India um, because we have a festival that is tomorrow known as Diwali, so I'm quite excited. <gasps> Tell me about the festival. What do you do to celebrate? Well, it's actually my favorite festival because uh, I just love it. It's the Festival of Lies. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, it's quite a fun festival. At first, we um, design our homes with all the lights. Uh, we we light candles, we light diyas. Diyas means oil lamps, candles, mm -hmm. lamps, and then some other lights, and we decorate our houses. And like every house is decorated at this time. And when you go down the streets, like if you walk, and it's just so beautiful. Like it's at night, especially, it just looks so pretty. So I love it a lot. And then we burn crackers and all those. So it's just a really fun festival. Wow, that sounds amazing. My goodness, that's incredible. Wow. And does your whole family get involved in the festival? Um, yes. Well, in my house, uh, I have only two members and me, my mom, my dad and me. So we oh. three generally like stay together during this time. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, previous year, not previous year, the I think I don't know, into 2020 probably, we did spend a lot of time really, like with all of our families. Uh, so yeah, that was good. But we don't really go to my, my uncle's home or my auntie's home at the, this time. Sometimes it happens. But actually, I love to enjoy with my mom and dad only. <laughs> Oh, that's so lovely. Great answer. Fantastic answer. Okay, so tell me a little bit more about you. What um what what do you enjoy doing? What 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 about school? Do you enjoy school? Yes, um I guess I do because you know before I didn't used to enjoy school a lot, but after the lockdown I was like I need to go to school because I was missing it kinda and now yes mm -hmm. it's been almost one year that we are doing school, like uh -huh. after the lockdown. Mm -hmm. So I have gone pretty I've gotten pretty used to it. Okay, fantastic. Do you have a favorite class at school? I'm not really. I kind of enjoy all the classes, but kind of I would say my favorite class is science, especially I love doing physics and biology. So yeah, that they are cool. Wow, amazing. And what about in your free time? What do you enjoy doing when you're not at school? Um, I like I read other books. Novels is one of my favorite. I sometimes mm. listen to music. I can play the synthesizer, so I do that sometimes. Yeah, these are some things. Wow, that's fantastic. That's amazing. What's your favorite book? Well, I don't really have a favorite book, but if we talk about the favorite genre, then mm. also probably I'd be confused like what to choose. I love fantasy a lot, but I also am a good fan of uh, mystery. So, mm. like, both of them are. I, I love both of them. Mm, what what book are you reading at the moment? Okay, so at this moment, I am mm -hmm. reading this book known as the Zahir. Um, it's from the author of the Alchemist, and uh, oh, my wow. friend actually gave me that book. So I'm going to be reading that this holiday. Wow, that's fantastic! That's really cool. And how long does this holiday last for? Um, well, this is just for like one week, uh, one and a half weeks. Mm -hmm. So we have Diwali. In, uh, we also have a Puja, Kali Puja, where we actually worship Goddess Kali. So mm -hmm. all these are there. Uh, it's like about for, it's for about one week. And then again, mm -hmm. school is going to start. Wow, that's so cool. That's awesome. That's really, really cool. And what are some other festivals do you celebrate in your country? Well, a lot. India is the like the place of festivals. We have so mm -hmm. many festivals. We have Holi. It is celebrated in March. So mm -hmm. that time is the festival of colors. Like we all have these colors with us. And that's a pretty great festival because India is, you know, a country of colors. And I love mm -hmm. colors. So that is also a great festival. But I guess Diwali is still my favorite. And then in West Bengal, the state that I live in here, uh, it is there is a quite famous festival known as Durga Puja. It is a festival where we worship Goddess Durga. So it's it just happened like a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. so, 
yeah that is also a great festival we generally means we three our family generally go traveling during this festival durga puja really wow that sounds incredible where do you go traveling to well this year we went to ladakh um it is a beautiful hilly area in our country it's mm-hmm. like at the top of our country um so mm-hmm. there is himalayas there so snow covered mountains I enjoyed it a lot. We played with snow and all those, yeah. But it was pretty cold. <laughs> wow, I can imagine it being very, very cold. Wow, yeah. that's fantastic, though. That sounds incredible. Do you really like traveling? Yes, I love traveling, and I've decided, like you know, whatever I'm going to do when I grow up, I would like never stop this thing of traveling because my parents love traveling a lot. So we generally mm-hmm. go sometimes to a lot of different places, and I would also love to go there when I grow up. Yeah, it's fantastic. Have you ever been to another country? Have you ever been abroad? Yes, we have been my first abroad trip first when I was 4 years old. So, I have completely like I don't remember anything about that, but it was to Thailand, um Singapore wow. and Malaysia. Yes, wow. I do remember a little bit about Singapore. I remember that it is a beautiful city, like you know, is there are so many beautiful beautiful buildings over there i do remember that um mm-hmm. and then we went to dubai and mauritius once dubai Whoa. is also a very very amazing city but yeah. i would, i'd love to go there again because i have heard that it has like developed a lot more than when we went yeah. so i would like to go there once i have also went to maldives it is my favorite destination <gasps> till now No way. Oh my gosh, you're so lucky. The Maldives has always been somewhere I've always really really wanted to go. Wow. Okay, so tell me about the Maldives. What did you do while you were there? Um we stayed at a resort. So, yeah. as you know, uh like the entire island is one resort. The name mm-hmm. of the resort was Paradise Island Resort I remember and it was mm-hmm. so like so good when we went there I was like am I in heaven we took a boat from the airport to go to the resort and the color of the sea it was I cannot express I don't even know the name of the color because there were so many shades of green and blue and it was lovely and when the when it was the time of evening I remember that was the mm-hmm. best moment like the sky and the it was so picturesque like if you're an artist you know you do just want to yeah. like paint a picture it just looks like a picture and uh-huh. the food over there was also really amazing it's mostly seafood you know you can eat crab prawns lobsters and all those yeah right. it was quite tasty wow my goodness that sounds incredible that sounds amazing wow lucky you my goodness and <sighs> Okay so if you could go traveling tomorrow what would be the next country you would want to visit Okay the country that is on the top of my bucket list is Greece um I had, I, I always wanted to visit Greece because I have seen a lot of videos and it's such a different country like there are so many good good sea beaches I guess I'm forgetting the Santorini that is a place that I've heard and it's like mm-hmm. so good and in Greece most of the buildings are like white they are painted white so I'd love to go there and you know just look at the entire uh, so I would love to visit Greece once Wow that's fantastic that's really really good excellent and uh, is there is there a country in the world that you don't want to visit not really of course there is no country like every country has something in it like there yeah. are a lot of hidden gems in countries so i love to visit like i try to visit all the countries and i don't know i of course i'd not be able to visit all the countries but it's it it never occurred in my mind that i would never visit this country or something like that because yeah. every country has a beautiful place good i'm glad you think so i'm really glad that's a fantastic have you have you ever visited any other country yes i have so i'm from england so i have visited i've visited lots of places in europe i've been to spain and france and germany and switzerland and portugal um uh my mother is also american so i visited america a couple of times which is a wonderful place um 
I've also visited Mexico and Thailand, like yourself. So yeah, lots of different places. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's great. How did you enjoy America? America is great. I have a lot of family over there, so it's always really lovely to visit them. Uh, really beautiful, um, some really beautiful areas in America. Yeah, I love America. It always has a very, very special place in my heart because it's where a lot of my family live. Right, so, yeah. that's so cool. Mm-hmm. I'd love to visit America once as well. Um, oh, yeah. I went to I went to Europe. I've gone to Europe, like uh, Germany, France, Belgium, Switzerland, and some other places. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was nice, but I've never been to America, so I'd love to visit there once. Yeah, absolutely. It's definitely somewhere you should visit for sure. And uh, have you ever visited England? No, that is a place that. I like really love to visit because I have seen a lot of, especially of London. Like it, there are so many and uh, like so many old buildings over there as well and new as well. So it's a mixture of both of the ancient and new, uh, modern. Actually, it's the best thing ever I have seen. It's the only thing that I've seen in London, especially. I haven't seen it in any other place. Like the thing that I've seen in London, this mm-hmm. mixture of ancient and modern things. So I'd love to go there once and like, can you please suggest me some places like except for London where I can go? In London where you should go. Okay, so you have to do the tourist places because those are just some of the best Hmm. things. So uh, you've got to visit Big Ben, which Hmm. is the very big clock tower. You should go on the London London Eye, which is really, really fun. You get the whole view of London there. Where are some other places you should go? Other places. Let me think. Um, you could go to where else? Oh, Buckingham Palace. Yeah. Which is where the royal family lives. Mm. Which is a really wonderful place to go. There are so many different places in London. So many mm. really, really wonderful places. I lived in London for a little bit of my life, but it is a really, really wonderful place to be. And there's lots going on always, which is pretty fantastic. Mm. Okay, so where are you now? Like in England? Uh, yeah, I do. I live in, I, I'm in England. I live in the south of England. So okay. I live in a place called Cornwall. So it's in the very, very bottom of England. Let me see if I can find you a map so you can see. Um, So yes, in the south of England. I have lived in London previously, but now I'm living in the south of England. Okay, let me show you this map. This will be the best way to describe it. Here we have, London is over here. Yeah. And then I live all the way down at the bottom at this part in a place called Falmouth, okay. at the very, very bottom in Cornwall. So, yes, yeah, so at the very, oh, very so bottom. Mm-hmm. You have, like, do you visit the sea often? Because it's quite yeah, near to the sea. I live, I live very, very close to the sea. I'm oh, wow. A 15 minute walk from the sea. Mm-hmm. That's so cool. Like, yeah. I live in the middle of India, like, not in the middle, but it takes such a long time you have to take a train like it's so at the bottom and like I love the beach I absolutely love the beach so that's great that you live just 15 minutes away from the sea beach yeah absolutely it's a really it's a really wonderful place to be and it's um very different from a lot of other places in England Mm. which is what I really like Mm -hmm. fantastic and what, what is your plan for the rest of today what are you going to do uh, well, basically nothing. But yes, I did have today uh, in our house, there was a puja. So we actually have these pujas often. So this is a Lakshmi puja. It's worship of goddess Lakshmi. So, mm-hmm. you know, it just happened like right now. And then now I'm talking to you. Oh, wow. So yeah, it, it, it has been a pretty good day. Amazing day. Good. I'm so, so glad. And you must be so excited for your festival tomorrow. It sounds so exciting. Yes, I am. Yeah, I'm so, so glad. Well, sadly, it's already nearing the end of our lesson, but my goodness, fantastic job, Seal. English is absolutely wonderful. You have such a wide range of vocabulary, so you're able to answer 
all of the questions in so much detail, which is so fantastic. Really, really impressive. So well done you, wonderful work. It was so lovely to meet you and I hope we can have another lesson together soon. Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you so much. Have a nice day. So lovely to meet you, thank you. Yeah.